In this way, Satan deceived Eve. By not speaking his own, but artfully adopting the words of God and perverting their meaning. Thus he suggested evil to the wife of Job, persuading her to feign affection for her husband, while he taught her to blaspheme God. Thus does the crafty spirit mock men by false displays, deluding and drawing each into his own pit of wickedness. When of old he deceived the first man Adam, thinking that through him he should have all men subject unto him, he exulted with great boldness and said, My hand has found as a nest the riches of the people, and as one gathers eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth, and there is none that shall escape me or speak against me. But when the Lord came upon earth, and the enemy made trial of his human economy, being unable to deceive the flesh which he had taken upon him, from that time forth he, who promised himself the occupation of the whole world, is for his sake mocked even by children. That proud one is mocked as a sparrow. For now the infant child lays his hand upon the hole of the asp, and laughs at him that deceived Eve, and all that rightly believe in the Lord tread underfoot him that said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the Most High. Thus he suffers and is dishonored, and although he still ventures with shameless confidence to disguise himself, yet now, wretched spirit, he is detected the rather by them that bear the sign on their foreheads, yea, more, he is rejected of them, and is humbled, and put to shame. For even if, now that he is a creeping serpent, he shall transform himself into an angel of light, yet his deception will not profit him. For we have been taught that though an angel from heaven, preach unto us any other gospel than that we have received, he is anathema. And although, again, he conceal his natural falsehood, and pretend to speak truth with his lips, yet are we not ignorant of his devices, but are able to answer him and the words spoken by the Spirit against him, but unto the ungodly, said God, why do you preach my laws? And praise is not seemly in the mouth of a sinner. For even though he speak the truth, the deceiver is not worthy of credit. And whereas scripture showed this, when relating his wicked artifices against Eve in paradise, so the Lord also reproved him first in the mount, when he laid open the folds of his breastplate, and showed who the crafty spirit was, and proved that it was not one of the saints, but Satan that was tempting him. For he said, Get behind me Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve and again, when he put a curb in the mouths of the demons that cried after him from the tombs. For although what they said was true, and they lied not then, saying, You are the Son of God and the Holy One of God, yet he would not that the truth should proceed from an unclean mouth, and especially from such as them, lest under pretense thereof, they should mingle with it their own malicious devices, and so these also while men slept. Therefore he suffered them not to speak such words, neither would he have us to suffer such, but has charged us by his own mouth, saying, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves, and by the mouth of his holy apostles, believe not every spirit. Such is the method of our adversaries' operations, and of the like nature are all these inventions of heresies, each of which has for the father of its own device the devil, who changed and became a murderer and a liar from the beginning. But being ashamed to profess his hateful name, they usurp the glorious name of our Savior which, is above every name and deck themselves out in the language of Scripture, speaking indeed the words, but stealing away the true meaning thereof, and so disguising by some artifice their false inventions, they also become the murderers of those whom they have led astray.